see where we at. Ayy, for pussy boy played and he lay in his pockets getting tested. Yo. Hey man, what's good, y'all? Corner Chow with another Fergus video today. And before we hop into today's video, hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all enjoying y'all day, man. Hope y'all had some delicious to eat today too, gang. Hope y'all doing good, bro. But hey, man, as y'all can tell by the intro, your boy Charles Star is in great spirits. You feel me? Hope y'all feeling good, man. But um, y'all, before we get to this video, I bought another fragrance. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just bought a fragrance last week, but I got another fragrance. It's just, it's an addiction, bro. I just can't, I can't help it. I can't help it. It just shipped today, and it's delivering. I need help. <laughs> I need to go to rehab. <laughs> Bro, it's just like, I can't describe what happened. I was just scrolling, just window shopping, and I just clicked purchase. And boom, I got a fragrance on the way. But um, I ain't recorded because I know y'all probably didn't care about the fragrance I purchased, but let me know if y'all want to see the video on there or something like that. But as y'all can tell by today, it's title and thumbnail. To be honest with y'all, like to be dead serious with y'all, I don't know what the hell I'm titling this, but we talking something about perfume oils. So hey, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight to it, gang. Let go. So as y'all know, you know what I'm saying, everybody used to the tradition, you know what I'm saying? The little, you know, you feel me? The little spray colognes. But I want to push that to the side and talk about perfume oils. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge advocate of perfume oils, okay? There are many, there are many pros and there are not many cons. I don't think there are any cons to perfume oils if you ask me. Um, if you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you guys know me, you guys know my most complimented fragrance is actually my perfume oil. I've gotten so many compliments out of it. This is my third repurchase. And trust me, after this goes empty, I'm buying another fragrance. But um, just to compare, you feel me? First of all, they make a variant for any fragrance you know, okay? One Man Elixir, La Mala Elixir, Dear Sauvage, Prime Little Rose of Carbon, Blue Dishnet. They have a fragrance variant for any of the fragrances you like. And the main reason I do love these and I recommend these to a lot of people is because the value for money. I know a lot of people aren't out there are just not, you know what I'm saying? They don't have the funds to really just blow on fragrances, you feel me? Some of us are fortunate enough, some of us are not fortunate enough. I, I feel you, dog. I really do feel you. And let me just say, these things do come in clutch, gang. Because first of all, they value for money are just, they shoot through the roof, gang. First of all, you're paying no more than what, $20? You know what I'm saying? I pay about 25 for this one. And you're getting a travel size, long lasting fragrance, okay? And the main difference I hear a lot of people say is the performance. The performance is way better on perfume oils than um, sprays. Now, some people think it's a myth, but to me, gang, I ain't gonna lie. I believe it, bro, because I grew up with a mom that only wore perfume oils. And she still only wears perfume oils. She, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got two different beliefs, in, you know what I'm saying, in the house. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a sprayer. She loves, you know what I'm saying, the roll ons. And when I say she, she, she be outperforming me, I can't lie. Like her smell lingers around the house like crazy. And that has to do with the name perfume oils, okay? Perfume oils are basically, they are just, okay, let me, let me give y'all an example. They are basically the same thing as cologne. But as you guys know, there are EDTs, EDPs, and pop phones, right? EDTs, EDPs, and pop phones are the levels of oils and then the rest is filled with alcohol, okay? So imagine, D like Dior, they just filled the, the perfume, the smell you're smelling, they just filled it up and then they filled the rest up with alcohol, okay? This does not have any alcohol. This is the pure concentrated oil, okay? This is the purest, most richest form of the smell you're gonna get because the alcohol actually dilutes some of the smell. So if you want the purest form of a smell, it's really best to go with perfume oils. Like I said, the value for money is crazy because as you guys know, I got one million lucky, also got Baccarat, you feel me? Also got Tobacco Vanilla. This is really like my top three that I do rock out with, gang. Like, these three, bro, these three go crazy, man. And as y'all can tell, I just refilled up on them, bro. That's how good they is. Like, Tobacco Vanilla really just smells like Tobacco Vanilla. Like, as you guys know, Baccarat, they want, you to, they want you to spend your right pocket on them, you feel me? They want you to spend your whole bank account, your whole paycheck on them. But this, they not asking for much. And they actually give you about the same they give you about 90 percent the same you feel me like i said you can travel with these especially with these small ones you feel me and another pro i do know this is with the travelability right you guys know how i did a video saying you know what i'm saying you can't leave your colognes in a certain humidity you can't leave them in a certain temperature and they're going to start smelling bad and they're going to start that's because of the alcohol game okay you get with these and these these per these pure 
perfume oils, okay? You get through these perf pure perfume oils. You can leave them in your car. You can leave them in the hottest temperature. Honestly, gang, and from my experiences, when I leave them in hot areas, they actually perform better. Like the smell is stronger. You feel me? So I ain't gonna lie. If you are a person that, you know what I'm saying, likes to keep your smell travel with you, perfume oils would fit you better low key. And the value for me is crazy because you get, as you guys know, sometimes that might just piss you off, gang. Like your smell is just not lasting. You paid about 80, you know what I'm saying? 80, 90, a hundred dollars. You feel me? You're not getting what you pay for. With these, you paying about anywhere from 10 to $20 and you're getting way more than what you paid for. And there is a little hack I do like, you know what I'm saying, do it. There is a fragrance that I have that doesn't last, okay? So what you can do is, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, I'm not really saying Dior Sauvage does not last, but let's say I got Dior Sauvage that doesn't last. I can, you know what I'm saying, base my Dior Sauvage, you know what I'm saying, roll on, roll on, roll on, rub in, you feel me? Use that as a base and then boom 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 it's almost kind of like fragrance layering but it's like layering with perfume oils is like a different type of like level when you use it as a base like it's it's great like the lingering smell you leave around like halls and hallways and it's crazy bro like i remember one time i was in school right like the way my school setup is we got 500, 600, 700, 800 hallway, right? And like, I'm walking down 500 and I'm at the end of 500. And my homeboy, he he at the end, he like, Joe, he was like, they call me Joe. He was like, Joe, bro, I can literally smell you from back here. I'm like, word. I'm like, bro, he was dead serious. Like, bro, this, this combo is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, if you're on a budget, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really got the, you know what I'm saying? The most amount of funds to spend on fragrances or, per, or sprays you are not missing out on anything bro you got perfume oils to catch you up gang i promise you you good they got these at any local drugstore they got any local you know to be honest with y'all i got these from a local hood store you feel me but when i'm not buying from there i'm buying from my oil perfume a lot of you guys ask me where i got my one million lucky i always tell y'all well i haven't told y'all lately but i got it from myoilperfume.com i'm gonna leave it right here but honestly, it's no point because when I tell y'all that shit sell out instantly. So I don't know if they sold in or sold out. But gang, I probably can't even buy it from nowhere because y'all buying all of them hoes. But um, yeah, if y'all wanna know where I get my one million lucky, my aka my most complimented perfume oil, um, I'm gonna leave the link right here. But I promise you guys, they are not hard to find. Perfume oils are very, very, very popular. Find them, you can find them. I, I, I promise you, you can find them anywhere. I know you can. Just go to your local like drugstore, anything, you know what I'm saying, near that. But yeah, when I smelled this, I was like, yeah, there's no need for me buying, you know what I'm saying, tobacco vanilla. It lingers around, it performs good, it smells about the same, you know what I'm saying? Baccarat. <laughs> I smelled this, I was like, this is Baccarat for, for $20? Hell no, nah, I ain't buying Baccarat, bro. Mind y'all, I, I own the bottle of Baccarat, bro. I'm not buying that again if I already got, you know what I'm saying, basically what it is right here. And it lasts about the same. What's the point? So yeah, if you guys are looking something that's value for money, I recommend you guys go for something like perfume oils, you feel me? You guys ain't gotta go for spray. You guys aren't missing out on much. Especially if you're somebody who travels a lot or you like to keep smells on you, like in your car, in your pocket. Perfume oils work better than you, than keeping, <laughs> than keeping these Dior Sauvages and um, what are these wire seals in y'all pockets, gang? Because then eventually they're gonna start to stink. With these, they won't, the, the smell won't turn bad. It won't turn bad at all. It will actually might perform better on your skin. But one thing I would say is be careful where you apply because only, I, I don't get rashes. I don't get rashes, but I did apply my inner elbow and I did get a little, you know what I'm saying, a little bumpy right here. So I do say be careful on your sensitive areas because th these areas are sensitive to me. But areas you are sensitive, I would not say apply like, I just keep it on my, you know what I'm saying? That's all I do. That's all I do. I don't put it nowhere else. Feel me? But um, yeah, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Like I said, let me know, let me know how y'all feel about perfume oils in the comment section down below. Are y'all a buyer? Are y'all just specifically sprays? Will y'all not go to the dark side? Like, let me know how y'all feel about them in the comment section down below. But um, yeah, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. And uh, peace.